Welcome to part 3 in our 6 part series on the PlayStation 3 in 2022. So far we've covered selecting a compatible PS3, buying storage and cables, the required software, exploiting and installing a custom firmware and updating the hard drive. In part 3 we're going to cover installing Irisman, installing Webman Mod, Webman Mod overviews and folders, formatting external hard drive for 4K sector sites, convert disks to ISOs, scan files to create the Xman Mod XML, and installing PS3 covers. First thing we're going to do is copy the package that will be downloaded in part 2 to the USB stick. Insert your USB stick into your PC, go to the downloads location, select all the package files, Once all the package files are selected, copy and paste them to the USB stick. So the package files you should have include Webman Mod, RetroArch for the PS3, the PS3 covers file, Irisman 4.88, PS2 config, Prep ISO version 1.29, and PSP remasters launches. Once the files are copied, check the USB stick and put it in your PlayStation 3. The first package we're going to store is Irisman. Go to Package Manager, select Install Package Files, select Standard for root of the USB stick, scroll down and select Irisman. It will take a minute or two to install. Normally I like to use Multiman but due to the 4K effect sector side on the external hard drive, Multiman is unable to read the NTFS petition. Once complete, you should now have Irisman available. Start Irisman. On first launch, you should be required to set the screen size, adjust and press cross. Select yes to using hard drive zero slash games for the install folder for games. The initial view shows all games that are currently installed on the PS3. Push start, go to games list, change it to videos, this will prevent it scanning for games every time Irisman loads as we're only using it as a file manager. Press start and select to open the file manager. Device underscore HDD0 is the normal hard drive and device underscore USB 001 is the USB stick. Select the packages folder on the hard drive. Go across to the USB stick. Use the square button to tag files. Tag all the package files. Once they're tagged, push the triangle for context and then copy. Hit yes to copy. Files will be copied across to the packages folder on the hard drive. Once they're copied, hold the PlayStation button down and select quick game. Next is installing Webman Mod and performing the update. Go to Package Manager. This time select Install Package File from System Storage. Scroll down to Webman Mod. Once highlighted, select the package and it will install the installer. Hit Circle to return. Now the Webman Mod Installer package is now available. Hold L1 and select Webman Mod Installer for the full package. This gives you additional components including the ability to run games off network shares. Webman Mod once installed will reboot the PS3. Once the PS3 has restarted, pair the joystick, go across, Select the Webman Mod Installer package, press Triangle and Delete to remove the installation files. Hit Yes.
Press circle to return. And should now have a Webman Games item in the menu. When you click on it, the only thing that's available at this point in time is the Webman Setup menu. Go into the Webman Setup menu and scroll down to Update Webman Mod. This will install the latest version of Webman Mod. The latest version includes all the changes in support of RetroArc for the PS3 and additional bug fixes. Once completed, the restore will ask for the system to be rebooted. You can reboot the system by going into the custom firmware tools and select hard or soft reboot. The PS3 will now restart with the latest version of Webman Mod ready to go. Let's take a quick tour of Webman Mod. So once your PS3 is restarted, jump in, go to the Webman Games, go to Webman Setup. Click on PS3 Webman Setup. This will take you to the web page where most of the settings are applied. First one is scanning for content. This controls what content is scanned during the Webman scans. Webman scans do most of the functions of the prep ISO. So it will do dev NTFS scans for PS3 and PS1 games. The next section is the fan control, followed by the Webman mod setup. Then some additional Webman games including covers and paths that may be changed. IDPS and memory settings. Cross media bar and in-game shortcuts. and wait for any USB devices to be ready, waiting a delay for USB devices that are slow to start. Click on save to save any changes you may have made. Then click on here to restart the PlayStation 3 to apply the changes. As you didn't make any changes, press the circle button to exit back. Other items within the menu include unmount disk, the refresh functions which are quite important, temperature, games, files, cache, network folders, PSN unit redirects and a few other functions. Down the bottom includes a restart PS3 and shut down PS3 option. One other feature is the VSH menu. Hold the select button down will pop up. This includes the ability to unmount games, launch the S launch, fan, refresh XML, toggle game data, backup disks, screenshots, webman system, disable syscalls and other options. When using webman it's important to understand the directories. Here's a quick tour. Inside we now have a BD ISO, a DVD ISO, PS2 ISO, PS3 ISO, PSP ISO and PSX ISO. Additionally, the ROMs folder for RetroArch ROM. Down the bottom, there's a temp folder. Inside the temp folder is a WM temp. This is where the .ntff files, which are links to the NTFF files, are found. Also, there's the XML host. Inside the game underscore plugin, this is where the XML files will be kept once they're generated after the scans.
In the game folder, there's now a few new folders. The first one is the package launch folder. This contains the cut down version of RetroArch that's used by Webman Mon to launch RetroArch ROMs. You can see the ebook.bin and the RetroArch config files in there. Next is the PS2 config folder. This contains all the configs for PS2 games. Reload XMB, which is used to reload the XMB once changes have been made. And XMB Man PLS. The next step is to prepare the external hard drive for a 4K sector size. Go to the downloads folder. We have downloaded the quick format utility. Extract the quick format utility. Place it in downloads. Once the utility is finished extracting, insert the external hard drive. Once the external hard drive is ready to go, go into the quick formatter folder. Start quick formatter. Once it started, click continue. Accept the license agreement. Change the compatibility to XP compatibility. Set it up for MBR. Click on format drive. And the utility will format the drive. This will take a few minutes, it has been skipped. Exit the utility. And now go to the disk. As you can see, it's NTFS and it's 4 terabyte in size. Go into the folder. and create a PS3 ISO folder. At this stage you can copy any ISO files or the next step will generate files. In this step we're going to create ISO files from the disk. Plug your USB hard drive in and start Irisman. Press start to open global options. Go to tools. Go to the Cobra diskless payload and change it to B DVD controller. Hit the circle button and the PS3 will restart. Once the PS3 is restarted, insert a game disc. Once the game disc is recognized, go down to Irisman, start Irisman. You can see it's still looking at video mode, so we need to change this now. Click the start button, go down to game list and change it to PS3 games. Now you'll see the disk listed, press the triangle button, go down to build ISO and select the NTFS and it will start building the ISO. You'll be prompted to split it into 4GB parts because we're using NTFS, so no. We'll now create the ISO. Press any button to continue. And note you'll now have the original disk and the ISO image on the NTFS file. Press the start button now to go back to global options. Go into tools. And change the BVV controller back to Cobra mode. PS3 will reboot. Once you've rebooted, start Iris Man. Go into Start. Change the game list back to Video. A quick look at the disk now shows us on the NTFS drive in the PS3 ISO folder there's a Tomb Raider ISO ready to go. Once you finish, we need to scan in and add covers. So, 
Going to Iris Man. Check to make sure all your files are currently in the PS3 ISO folder. Exit out. Go into Webman Games, Webman Setup, and go down to Refresh Webman Games and XMB. This will now scan using the internal scanner, the NTFS drive, and generate the files. You can watch the LEDs on both the internal and external hard drives for activity to make sure the scan is still going. Once the scan is complete, X and B will restart. Go into Webman Games. Go into the PlayStation 3. And now you'll see all the games that have been scanned in. This stage, the art that it's using for the covers, is from the disc itself. Next step will be install the covers. Let's go into Package Manager, Store Package Files, PS3 System Storage, and select the package file for the covers. Once that's finished installing, hit circle to go back. If you go into Webman Games, you'll notice that the icons haven't changed. So we need to rebuild the XML. So once again, go into Webman Setup, go and refresh Webman Games and XMB. This will regenerate the XML files that will now use the covers that were just freshly installed. Another thing to note is the NTFS files that have now been generated, located in the temp, WN temp folder. These are the files that are used to launch the game when they're selected in the XMB. Turning back to Webman Games now, you'll see that the covers have been updated with the cover files out of the install package file. You will notice though, some are missing and also the aspect ratio is wrong. We'll quickly just test again. So three trace to seven, select to mount the ISO. ISO will load and select to run the ISO.
Next we're going to fix the aspect ratio of the PS3 covers. As you can see here, they're square. So we're going to try and add some transparent borders to these to make them the right aspect ratio. First thing we want to do is copy the cover files. So go into Iris Man. The covers themselves are found in Game. BLES 80608 User DIR covers You can see them in there It's a level okay, Select the NTFS drive And go back to covers and copy them across. So it'll take a few minutes to copy the games. Once copied, check the USB, set it in your PC. Download a PS3 cover from the link below. Extract that. Now you've got a PS cover basic folder. And we want to copy everything into the input folder. So go to your, your external hard drive into the covers folder. Select all the files. We want to cut them. Control X and paste them. Once they've finished copying, go up to the PS Cover Basic folder and click on start.bat. We want to convert PS3, so it's a one. We've already put the files into the input folder. So hit enter and let it start. Obviously there's 9,000 entries, so it's going to take a minute or two. Once it's completed, I'll pop up. You now have PS3 covers in the correct aspect ratio. Cut them. Paste them back into the covers folder. Once they're finished copying, Shut down the PS Cover Basic. Eject external drive and plug it back into the PS3. Back on the PS3, go back into the game BLES 80608 folder, user directory, delete the existing covers folder. Go into your NTFS drive, copy the covers folder back into the hard drive, once that completes exit, you want to go back into webman setup and rescan again, so refresh webman games and XMB, let it do the refresh. Now when we have a look at the PlayStation 3 games, you'll see that the cover art has the correct aspect ratio.